Hey everyone, I'm Terry Rice, I'm a creative specialist for the Foundry. Today we're going to take a look at the Ray Render inside of Nuke. The Ray Render node is a nice complement to Nuke's 3D space. We can use this to render out reflections and occlusion, which we couldn't do with the Scanline Render. So this could be helpful if you're working with the render from another package and maybe the reflection pass is flickering or has other types of artifacts. Instead of going back to the 3D department or your 3D package, you can render the reflection with the Ray Render. It's also a great way to add some additional reflection to help tweak the image. So let's take a look at the Ray Render node. So just like the Scanline Render, it connects a scene, a camera, a background, and we have our filtering options. We have the type of camera we want to render out, as well as samples. We can even control the error threshold for any triangle ray intersection. Motion blur is available, and we can also output AOVs. We can do that into regular channels, or we can make custom channels. Now let's look at how we can add an additional reflection pass to the scene. So we have our Alembic file imported into Nuke. And we can see we have the vehicle and the ground. And we can begin to apply reflection shaders to it. So we're going to use the Apply Material node. And this way we'll be able to pick pieces of geometry that we want to apply this reflection shader to, rather than doing it globally. So in this case we have the body, the rims, the bumper. And that way we can have different reflection values for each one of these pieces. And maybe different colors if we wanted to. And we can even put in different image maps here. Now, just like we would in a 3D package, we need to surround our scene with an environment for reflection. In here we have a sphere, and plugged into the sphere we have switch nodes with several HDRIs attached in here. So a nice advantage of this is that we can start to tweak these HDRIs. We can add color corrections to them, we can defocus them, we could add roto paint, paint strokes, and maybe even roto shapes on here, and that way we can tweak the reflection to get them exactly where we want them to be on the car. So it's a nice way to get real-time feedback from that. Okay, so now that we have this set up, let's take a look at the render. We could take a look at it in our node graph here and see how it's contributing to our render. I'm just going to switch through another HDRI here to, I think, this one. And once we're happy with that, I'm just going to take a look at the end result. Now I'll just disable this node and re-enable it, and we can see how much this is contributing to our overall render. So this is a great way to start adding some additional tweaking and or completely replacing our reflection pass. So now let's look at the ambient occlusion shader. So if you've used an occlusion shader from a 3D package, then this is going to feel familiar. The attributes for sample, spread, fall off, and even clipping are here. And all these attributes are going to give us control over the quality, uh, the behavior of the occlusion. And this is a great way to repair or even create new occlusion passes with different values and maybe different spreads. We can have a wide one, we can have a tight one. And then once we're done with that, we can plug it in our tree and multiply it. So if we look at it as creating actual content inside of Nuke rather than working with a render, we can do the same thing. We can bring in that 3D geometry inside, and by adding a shaders to it, we have the occlusion shader plugged in directly to it, along with different reflection shaders and textures for each parts of the vehicle. We can get an output directly inside of Nuke. So if we take a look at the ray render here, we'll have a render that's done from within here. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and continue to composite. We can see the HDRI in the background here and the reflection, and we'll be able to get an output all done created from within inside Nuke.